Hi, Electron John here. And those that follow me know that every year I kind of have one special project. And my special project was I did something close to 20 years ago at this point. It was a PowerPoint that I made and I hyperlinked all kinds of stuff. And I wanted to think about updating this PowerPoint. So let me show you the PowerPoint real quick, just so you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I made this PowerPoint, everything was hyperlinked together. And these were case studies, waveform databases. It was years of my firsthand experience as an automotive technician within the automotive industry. And I'd use this in training classes. So whatever it was, you know, let's say I clicked on ignition systems, I could get, I could, everything was hyperlinked together. I could get primary voltage, it would tell you how the system's supposed to work, show you different parts of the patterns. If I wanted to go see an amperage pattern, um, <clears throat> you know, if I wanted to go straight to the waveform library, I could go to the waveform library, pick on a particular sensor, it would tell you which wire to plug into to gain this, and all of them were known good patterns here. Um, whether it was a trouble code, I could go into the trouble code menu, and it would list out the trouble code, starts with what the trouble code meant, um, why did the computer set that code, what the enable criteria was, if any monitors were shut down as setting that particular trouble code. And this took me a lot of time to do back, I think this was 2007, 2008 when I was doing this, and I've never updated it. But again, I didn't stop being a technician, right? So I still had a whole bunch of case studies, and a lot more newer type of information and everything. So I was thinking about updating this program. And then my camera guy, for those that don't know, is actually my nephew. He's a lot younger than I am. And I was telling him what I was working on for a special project for 2024. And he said, you know, we got this thing called artificial intelligence now. And at first I wasn't 100% sold on that because to me, artificial anything sounds like, you know, magic, smoke and mirrors. So he described to me how our artificial intelligence basically works. For those of you that are maybe my age, it didn't fully understand how it works. And you basically create a bot and you can ask this bot anything related to the subject matter that you created the bot for. So in our case, obviously it's gonna be automotive technology. And a typical bot would go out and go to the internet, let's say, and search you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of different websites and stuff like that to get the most logical type of response that it could have. Now, if you're a seasoned technician like myself, you know it's kind of like if you did a, a Google search, you get a car coming to your shop and it says you got a P0171 code and you just type that into Google, you might get some good responses, you might get some responses from somebody who has no business that you even open the hood on their vehicle, right? Um, YouTube videos, stuff along those lines. So I asked him, his name is Steve. I asked Steve, I said, hey, is there any way that, you know, we could still use the, the internet, right? But can we upload 35 years worth of my personal firsthand experience by way of all my training classes that I've built stuff around, which encompasses case studies, encompasses everything, just like you as a seasoned technician has, has went ahead and accumulated over the years, whether it's waveform databases, whatever the case happens to be. He said, absolutely, we could do that. So now that got me intrigued. So, you know, luckily Steve has a lot of knowledge about building this kind of stuff, so he made me a prototype. And that is, in essence, what I wanted to share with you that we're gonna be doing for our special project in 2024. It's going to be an actual AI bot, and I have it pulled up on the screen in front of us here, and we can literally ask it any type of question. Now, this is constantly evolving because those of you that have ever built a bot before know that you, know, you, can, you can give it a better answer if you wanted to. So if it pulls up something and it, you don't really like the full context of what it said, maybe it didn't go deep enough, whatever the case happens to be, I can always go in there on the back end and say this is a great response, but we should add, you know, whatever to it to make it a more precise type of service tool, in essence, is what we as technicians will be using it as. So I just want to give you a quick little demonstration of how this bot would work. 
So we'd pull it up and my laptop is kind of covering the question box down here, but I'll just ask it a question, right? So the first question, we could keep it real simple and we're not gonna tell it year, make, and model because we're gonna go through as how we would normally use this. So I'm just gonna type in um, what, if I spell correctly, what are common causes for a P0171 diagnostic trouble code. And I'm gonna hit the enter button. Now the bot's doing its thing, it's comparing some of my information, that's what it's, it's directed to look at first, and then it's gonna also go and compare my information to stuff that I found on the internet as well. And then I will go ahead and I can review its responses. So that was a pretty generic question that I asked it. So this would be something that maybe a newer tech might ask it, something along those lines, but it comes up, it tells you that it's indicating that there's a lean condition. It gives you some of the common examples of what you should do. Now, if I wanted to make this more precise, I could have worded the question a little bit differently. I could also go back in from this screen and I could say, well, give me common um, diagnostic scenarios or give me common causes for this type of code on a, in this case, behind me here is a 2019 Buick Encore, right? And it would be able to get a more precise type of answer to it. But if I just wanted a quick overview, I could literally ask it anything about a vehicle. I could say, hey, I don't understand how ABS works, right? Can you explain to me how analog brake systems are designed to work on a car? And it would come up and it would talk about all the different wheel speed sensors and it would talk everything about an analog braking system. Again, it always goes to my vetted information first, and the more specific question I ask it, the more detailed of results I'm going to get. I don't stop just there though, either. So even though I've been in, in this industry for a long time, and I've got a wealth of information on every single topic out there, I don't care if it's airbags, ABS, whatever, you know, that drivability type of stuff, my social media name is Electron John, right? So this is where our bot, I think, will really be a lot different from some of the other automotive bots that might be being released here in the near future. So I'm gonna ask it an EV-related question, right? And again, I'm gonna keep it kind of basic. I'm gonna say, uh, what is the job of the BMS on an electric vehicle. We'll let it do its little computations here. And again, pretty quick, fast responses. And this is a generic one, but a BMS is pretty important as everybody's well aware on an electric vehicle if you've taken any of my training classes. So again, it's gonna come up, it's gonna tell me it's, its main focus in life is going to be to protect the battery. Protecting the battery includes stuff like battery balancing, stuff along those lines. So as this continues to grow, we're going to have images be able to be displayed here. So we'll be able to pull up a BMS screen as an example. But again, if I ask it a more specific question, such as let's say, how do I balance an EV battery, right? Because we know that the car is supposed to do it, but if it gets too far out of balance, it can't bring that battery back into balance again. So depending on where I'm at and the type of question I'm trying to ask it, you know, if I word the question more detailed, I will get more detailed responses, or I could keep it relatively simple, like I've been doing for this little example here. So your question might be, hey, is there going to be a charge for this service? Where, how can I take a look at this service and use it? Is, can my guys at the shop use it as a, a per-use person? So does everybody got to have their own login credentials and all that stuff? So basically, here's the deal. We're going to give this bot away, right? So this bot is gonna be given away in two locations. The two locations that you can use this bot is gonna be by going to www.electron-john.com. You'll find at the top of the page with all the little file menus, there's gonna say a button that you can go to for the, for the AI bot. 
Now, <clears throat> on that page, it's going to come up and it's first going to ask you to type your name and email address. We do that on purpose because we're giving this away for you to use as free as you want. Another place you're going to be able to find this is I created a private Facebook group called Automotive Insights. Now, you have to be a professional technician to be able to join this group. So just like a lot of the different private groups on Facebook, it's going to prompt you by asking you some automotive related questions. So this is something that we're going to be releasing in 2024. As I said, every year it's some one pet project that we do. We've been pretty successful the past four or five years of winning a lot of awards with our, with our products and stuff. So we want to keep that momentum going and I want to give back to the industry by creating something useful that should help everybody, make everybody a better technician, and hopefully make everybody more money in the future by being able to diagnose cars correctly and more efficiently at the same time. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, if you wanna join that Facebook group, again, it's called Automotive Insights. You're just gonna type that in, answer a couple questions, and you'll be able to join that group.